Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick from Nick Expose, and on this episode of Two Minute Tuesday, I wanna cover something that over the last 12 months has probably been one of the biggest factors on improving my work and taking it to the next level. So about six months ago, I made a decision that I was gonna stop buying camera gear. Uh, unless I absolutely needed something, I was gonna just stick with the camera gear that I have, right? I have this and, it, I mean, essentially my two camera setup right now is my Pentax 6.7 and my Leica M2. Those are my go-to cameras for nearly everything that I shoot. And uh, instead of buying cameras, and I think we get caught up, we know the, the term gear acquisition syndrome, right? Gas, and we're all familiar with this, and we're all familiar that, familiar, that there are so many different amazing cameras within the film world that it could get so easy to get caught up on buying the next one, or trading this one, or doing all this, to where we stop focusing on the actual work that we're creating, we start focusing on the tools that we're using to create it. So over the last six months, what I did is, I took a lot of the funds, and not all of them, I've actually saved money by doing this, but actually started investing in books instead of gear. Actually going through the, the books of some of my favorite photographers, I got these in the, the mail this week, this is Elliot Erwitt, and then Ralph Gibson, and just these guys that I absolutely admire and that I, I look up to their work. Here's another larger book from, from Ralph Gibson, and being able to actually sit down, it's like we talked about last week of going through our own work and, and like journaling through the, the different things that we think about our own work. Being able to do the same thing with the work that we admire uh, and going through and going, what is it about this layout that I like? What is it about these photos that I like? And actually spending time in books versus spending time with, you know, searching camera gear or whatever, you know? Chances are you could do all the work you could ever want to create with the gear that you have right now. My first zine was shot nearly entirely on a point and shoot camera. Go to a library or start purchasing books. The, the cool thing is you don't even have to purchase books. You can go to the library, you could sit down with the stuff. You don't even have to check them out. Just sit down there in the library, spend an hour a week at a library, just looking at photo books and see like just how drastically it shifts and changes the way that you approach your work. So I'd love to hear your comments on this. Do you guys collect books? What are some of your favorite books? I'd love to hear that. I'd love to do more videos on books coming up soon. Um, but anyways, if you're new to the channel, there's tons of other content I'd love for you to check out, so feel free to check out the rest. Also like and subscribe down below, leave your comments below, and share this with your friends. I'd love to hear what they have to say about this as well. This has been another Two Minute Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow. I have another video coming out tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Peace. Knuckles.